Welcome back. We're heading towards the heart of Drake's Fang. And apparently there's a place called the Sanctuary where Hugo is most likely waiting for us. And we can finally finish what we started over in Rosalith. There's got to be something here though. There we go, the Inner Sanctum. That's what I was waiting for. Here we go. Just what I needed. That took out quite a few. I'm happy with that. Let's get the area blast going. And if everything comes to me, nice it'll be lovely. Again, I really do like the tornado in terms of what it does, but visually, you just can't see what you're doing. But the gathering enemies up, it's very good for that. This one. And keeping them busy at the same time. That had better be the last of them. Hugo next, then, I imagine. It's so pretty. Smash it! Benedicta, my everything. I, I've missed you so much. Coca! Why is she naked? I swear to you, my love. We will never be parted again. What's wrong with him? You! You got away from her! Benedicta! Too late. No, not now. You again. Tell just by the music, a big fight's coming. I 
expected you to be bigger. Will he keep those hands if he returns to normal, though? Come on, then. Gotta be very wary of these dodges there. We got no abilities at all. Hmm. Gotta pay attention to this. Pyro Salt. X and Square. I think it's probably wise just to keep an eye on what he's doing more than anything else. Staggered. So much damage. <laughs> get to you. Nice trick. But if you could do it, then so could I! Brimstone? How do I use this brimstone? It's only a stone's throw. Um, move? Brimstone! Clive has learned the ability Brimstone from Titan. Hold and release on square to emit a violent explosion. Hold R and square longer to increase the explosion size and strength. Press X at any time to cancel the charge without triggering the explosion. Brimstone 2! Ifrit is invulnerable to damage while charging Brimstone. Suffering an attack, however, will automatically trigger the explosion. So, R and R, R2 and square. Right. Let's give this a try. Not bad. Okay. So now I have an ability. There's no like little marker down in the bottom right to show me if it's ready. Although I suppose I have the cooldown timer that does that for me anyway. Yep. That's fine. That's fine. I don't need it, do I? I'm just so used to seeing the little dots. That's what I look for rather than the cooldowns now, but... Yeah, we don't need that here, do we? Just need the cooldown.
keep meaning to charge it, but... a bit, I feel. As with that. You're gonna be feeling that tomorrow, mate. It's so shiny. That's not food! He must have been very hungry. Maybe lacking in iron or something like that. He did go through tremendous blood loss, so it does make sense. What the hell has he done? What has he done? He is much, much bigger now. Oh, crap. Found to help me. It's do or die. I'm coming, Kuka. Really? Can I shoot the things coming at me? Yes. Okay. So I keep that firing. We'll see about avoiding everything else. Get the sliding going like that. That's good, that's good. I mean, this has changed it up a little bit. How did you not get hit? Whoa! What the? Keep the firing going. Because there is stuff still coming out of the sky at me. That's one way of putting it. I'm coming for you sooner or later. Oh dear. Good jump, good jump. Okay, so what's the plan here, Clive? I feel like you need to get bigger.
Ah, clever. Kupka being all, not again. I've got you now. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get that attack in. Hoping to unleash my charge then, but that did not work out for me. Dagger bar. Oh, I did nothing. I was hoping it would have done something, but no. It would do now if I did it now, but I did it at just the wrong time. Come on, get him, Clive. You right? I was ready on that one. Watching the ground here right now, just spamming triangles so I get a little bit of damage out when I'm moving around. Oh, I missed him. What is this music? What the? Okay, apparently we're attacking that now. It's 
got a almost like a dragon, otherwise known as Yakuza feel to the music right now. It's reminding me a bit of um, Majima's music. Trying to unleash my skill at the right time there, but nope. Shame. his tricks again Just adding insult to injury. <laughs> really does. His arms off. Again. Did not expect this kind of gameplay to be happening during this, but it's great. Got to target them before they get to me. Charge it up, would that actually help? Yes. Aim for you. Oh dear. Whoa. What shit, mate? Oh, here we come. Heads up, Hugo. This fight is really something else, though. 
the fights after this are going to have to live up to this and more. to get bigger. That was a fight and a half. That was awesome. That was awesome. Again, the 
the fights after this, they're going to have to live up to that and do more. How? All right. Oh, Earth and Fury. Yeah, lovely. Smash it. There goes another one. And again, prelude. Okay, that's new. Is that you, Ultima? What do you want? Your soul is tainted with worthless human will, yet your thirst for power remains undiminished. With every sip you take, you grow in strength, and soon you shall achieve perfection. I don't know what you're talking about. You will accept us, Nuthos. It is inevitable. You were created for this purpose, and you shall serve it. Never! <sighs> Fight it, Ty! Don't let him in! <laughs> Consciousness. We see now. Human will is so insubstantial it cannot exist in isolation. You mitigate its weakness by interweaving it with your consciousness. We believed we had merely to purge you of your will to claim our vessel. It appears we first have to sever every thread of the consciousness that supports it. No matter. The time to build a new world is not yet upon us. We will contemplate. We really need to know more about this mythos thing going on. Thank you, Joshua. And no problem, mate. Hmm. One can no more command the power of ether by drowning in its flood than one can constrain the tides by standing in the sea. I had thought Hugo wiser than this, but it seems his head was full of rocks after all. Titan was strong. Your Majesty. But Mythos is stronger. For five years that man lived only for revenge clinging fast to a fiction, even as it swept him into the abyss. Mm. 
One cannot change one's nature through force of will alone. Only the Almighty can do that. Hugo Kupka, the man who gave his life for a woman's head. A fool like all the rest. of a mother crystal should be so beautiful. Holy Order of the Knights Dragoon. Some medicine, my lord? I have salves, potions, anything you need. Stop bothering me, Urchin, or you'll feel the back of my hand. She's never going to sell anything at this rate. You must consider your health, my prince. If a show of force is needed to keep the Dalmex at bay, you may trust in your dragoons. I beg you to call on Bahamut only as a last resort. His strength comes at too great a cost. The Empire agreed to an armistice with the Republic, and yet the Emperor still plots its ruin. For now, the Dalmex suspect nothing, and as long as I can hold their gaze, war need not be inevitable. But more than that, Bahamut is the champion of the Empire. When our people look to the heavens, the sight of him gives them hope. Ah, so he has more personal reasons as to why he's concerned about his health. Forgive me, Terence. Would that you were my master. But alas. I will always be your loyal servant. Should the Council's brazen maneuvering prompt the Republic to tear up their own treaty and launch a new assault, our soldiers would advance to meet them, cutting across the Central Isles, but not in time to prevent their forces from breaching the southern defenses and storming Twinside. And so the capital would become a battlefield. Thousands of innocents would die. I cannot allow that to happen. There is one small mercy, at least. You will not be forced to do battle with Titan. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's something. Would that I could avoid doing battle at all. A thousand pardons, your highness. What is it? Olivier has been made emperor. What is the meaning of this? My father's orders. What were they? Quickly! Uh, yes, your highness. His radiance requests that your highness maintain position here and- Gah! That would hurt. Terence, 
Yes, my prince. I must go to the palace. I'll ready your steed. <gasps> what is it now? Forgive the intrusion, your highness. I know you. At ease. We stand in the presence of the Phoenix. You wouldn't want to get your fingers burned. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Though I admit, I did not expect such a distinguished guest. How many years has it been since the Remembrance Ceremony? Twenty? I thought you long dead. Do I address a ghost? Boo. Many have told me that I look like one. But no. I'm alive. <laughs> Just. Prince Dion of the House Lesage, I have a tale to tell you. I mean, you could tell Clive as well. It would help. It would really help. Right, let's head on. Oh, it's just completely gone. It looks so strange. I thought there'd be something left there, but no. But no. Right, let's head on back to the hideaway. It's good to be home. Oh. Out of the shadow. <sighs> I'd better give Otto the good news. Indeed. But the reason we came back here is because usually, at that point, I can go off and wander around in the open world again. And maybe see about getting some more AP. If I feel like it. It depends. I might not. I might not. But we shall actually end this part here. And in the next part, we'll go tell Otto what happened. So we shall see you then. Todd off for now.